done about hydrocarbons in that aromatic hydrocarbons chemical properties. So we are going to discuss about the chemical properties of benzene. So let us start with the first one, namely nitration. One fundamental thing that a student should remember is that whenever we carry out the process of nitration, we make it, we will be making use of nitrating mixture. So what is this nitrating mixture? It is a compound of concentrated nitric acid along with concentrated sulfuric acid. So this mixture contains two strong acids namely concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid. When we learn its reaction mechanism, we really understand the need to use this sulfuric acid in the concentrated form. Without the usage of this, we will not have the generation of what is called as a nitronium ion which is required for the process of nitration. So therefore, this nitrating mixture usage is very essential in order to carry out the process of nitration. So, benzene when subjected to nitration means we are going to treat this with nitrating mixture of course concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid so when we are treating them with benzene now what happens for the sake of convenience I split and write this HNO3 as OH NO2. Still it is HNO3. HNO3. I am splitting and writing this. Now what happens is that the nitro group will take attachment to with the benzene ring. Hydrogen from the benzene ring will react with OH and comes out as water. So let us see what is the final product form. Benzene ring is remaining intact as it is. There is no change happening to the benzene ring. The nitro group is getting attached to the side chain and then hydrogen from there will react with OH resulting in the formation of water. So we land up in the formation of compound called nitrobenzene. So what is the product obtained on nitration of benzene with nitrating mixture? We land up in the formation of nitrobenzene. This is a very important reaction from the examination point of view. So practice this well and it is very easy.